Setting up a navigation menu on your website is a great way to organize your content and it makes it easier for visitors to find the information that they are looking for. It helps users navigate to the information that they need. The primary menu consists of the main pages of your website, but there might be a few more pages like privacy policy, terms and conditions, and many more pages that you might want to display on your website but if it is added in the primary menu, it might create a clutter. Hence, the secondary menu is created at the footer of your website that includes these pages. Hi guys, this is Shasman Valia from Team Learn Today. And in this SOP, we are going to learn how we can create a secondary menu for our WordPress website. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first step as always is to log into our WordPress dashboard so all you have to write is your domain name slash WP dash admin, and you will be redirected to your WordPress dashboard. Now we have to look for our appearance options from our left sidebar. And from there, we will go to our menus page. So appearance is right here and I can see the menus option over here. Lovely. If you have already created your primary menu by looking at our primary menu SOP, then you should know that the procedure is similar. Let's go ahead and see how we can create a secondary menu and what pages should we add on our secondary menu as well. So as you can see, we already have our primary menu right here. What I will do is I will create a menu by clicking on create a new menu. Perfect. So I will name my menu secondary. Awesome. And uh, the display location would be footer. You can put it as a secondary menu. You can put it on your footer. It's up to you where your secondary menu should come. For me, I feel uh, having it on my footer would be perfect. So I will just keep it as my footer menu. Awesome. So I will just create the menu. Perfect. And now we need to add the pages from our left section on our page. So you will have your most recent pages coming up over here. I can just go to view all. I will put my privacy policy, my disclaimer page and my terms and conditions page on my footer or secondary menu. I will also add one of the posts that I like. I don't have any posts, but if you do have any posts that you really want to be displayed, maybe on your primary menu or secondary menu, wherever you want, you can put it there. You can put some custom links that you want for your Facebook, your social media, or you can put the categories that you have prepared for the blog posts that you publish. For example, if you have a fitness uh, blog, then uh, some of the categories you might have is keto, uh, physical health, mental health, nutrition, things like that. So if you have such categories, you can definitely put it either on your primary menu or your secondary menu, completely up to you. So now that we have done that, um, let's see, we will, I have selected the pages. I will just add them to this menu by clicking here. And you can set it um, however you want. For example, I want my privacy policy to appear first. Then I want my terms and conditions and then I want my disclaimer. So I have set that up and I will just save this menu. And now that we have done that, we can go visit our website and check how it looks, how if the secondary menu has started appearing or not. Great, so as you can see, I have my privacy policy, terms and conditions and disclaimer appearing right here on my footer as my secondary menu. So there you go, we have successfully created a secondary menu on our WordPress website. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. In our next SOP, we will learn how we can delete a theme from our WordPress website. So stay tuned for that. If you have any suggestions or recommendations for our upcoming SOPs, you can go ahead and you can comment them in the comment box down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit on that notification bell icon as well. This is Justin Valia and I will see you in our next SOP.